Hey, what's going on, tribe? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so I'm going to pull some love messages here from the Island Time Wellness deck, okay? Little cute small deck. But let's see what comes out for you guys for today. Don't forget, I don't know what timeline you on. Flip your rolls as you see fit and take what you need and leave what you don't need, okay? Um, also, it's important that you use the spirit of discernment. So the keys on a ring comes out, and I'm going to show you guys this card in a second. Okay. And then Cupid's arrow flies out. It's been a lot about love um, for March. So basically, somebody either has many options or decisions, okay? Um, yeah, but the thing is, right? Cupid's arrow has struck. So basically it's saying it's like even though somebody has these different options, somebody's also making a decision. And this is what's bringing love in, okay? So you could get some type of surprise invitation or meeting or something of that nature. Um, the mirror card comes out. So you guys are mirroring each other's energy, okay? So I feel like this person also has been doing some type of um, reflecting as well about this relationship or about your friendship or whatever it is that you have going on your situationship this person has definitely been reflecting over it and this is what's bringing them yep bringing them to some type of conclusion with the decisions this person could have deeply hurt you um it could have been a breakup separation or something but i feel like you both have been um caught up in something here in your past that led to a lot of heartbreak okay i don't know if i showed y'all this the mirror card um heartbroken card and then the card that comes out is the wedding rings okay that's what's next so again out of all the options what it looks like here is this person is choosing you so let me pull tarot on that tell me more about that wedding ring card. look at that the tower card this is sudden. Somebody's going to get this epiphany, right? Because they're going through some type of transformation here. But it could get kind of like crazy where it may feel like you may have a tower moment or it could be like something chaotic happening around you. But whatever this is, what this is, is leading you into something better, literally, okay? Um, so don't look at it like, oh, Lord, here we go, another tower moment or I'm going through so-and-so. But it's setting you up for the better, all right? So you already know what to do. Release. Okay, don't hold on to nothing. Four of Pentacles comes out. No emotions, no patterns, no um, uh, behaviors, mindsets, things like that. Uh, regret, whatever it could be. Don't hold on to any negative energy. Okay, um, but however, something is definitely moving and happening in your life. All right, where it's gonna lead to some type of union. Seven of Swords comes out reverse, okay? So, some type of union, um, you got a soul connection with this person. And some truth will be revealed or confession may come forward or the universe is going to reveal this truth. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Seven of Wands in a reverse position. Yeah, I feel like three of swords coming out it's just it's that same energy i feel like somebody had really kind of just gave up because it's just too much adversity things just keep going wrong you know the relationship's not working and experiencing all this grief and heartbreak this can cause a person to really shut down right to close their heart off i just seen 404 on a timer but the sun card comes out and that's telling you like look hold up the sun is always going to rise in the morning right so you got to remember that. Stay positive. Stay happy. Um, regardless of what you're seeing with your natural eye. Because within the 5D, the divine is working on something. Okay? Matter of fact, how I'm hearing it is like it's already done. So it was up to you to bring it to this reality through your joy. Okay? Through your releasing. Not holding on to whatever it is that may have happened. You know, whatever that hurt may be release that okay um because again it's your joy that's going to manifest this this is your positivity that's going to manifest this yep ace of swords so that you can get this breakthrough that you've been looking for okay in your life especially when it comes to love right so 
hey, face your own goddamn mirror, okay, as well, because that's what we're called to do. We're called to heal and evolve. And um, tell me the energy surrounding this. Yep, rest and rejuvenate. That's been the energy for like since February, honey. Like, look, y'all chill. You don't got to do nothing. This is a period where you need to just rest. You need to drop your defense, your guard, or whatever, right? Get into this trusting energy. Get into this energy of having patience. Balance yourself, okay? Balance yourself. Clear your chakras, right? Because I got the patience card that came out in the reverse, the hostility card that came out in the third chakra in the reverse, okay? So when it comes down to your... um connections and in, in, in uh your creativity and things like that that it's it's a block it could be something that is causing you look heavily it's like you're repelling it is how i'm hearing it so when you have a block in one of your chakras and you're closed off it keeps you from receiving so right now you need to be in receiving mode if that makes sense okay by being open and it's going to require you to release it's going to require you to drop your guards okay is going to require patience, right? Because divine time kicks in when our egos are in the way. When we're holding on and we're not releasing, when we're not listening um, to the divine or our angelic guides, which are helping us to evolve, okay? Or ascend to the next level in our journey. Now, let me see something here real quick. Put these cards up. death okay so this card is about awareness importance and value i feel like here that this person is now becoming aware okay it's like it, it's it's like they're getting deep you both could be like understanding the importance the value of this connection here okay conflict is in the reverse position so whatever the conflict may have been or the differences have been um, I definitely feel like you guys will overcome that. I also have spying here. So they, they could be watching you on social uh, media, um, getting information in some kind of way, uh, checking in up on you, watching you because of whatever the conflict that you two may have gone through or are going through. Exhaustion. Yeah, it's been a long journey for you and this person. Yep, there go that confession card, right? But what, what, what was being, or what was happening was you had to, or you guys had to be in that eight of um, wands energy, basically walking away from what doesn't serve you. And what I feel like here is that um, your person here could have been like avoiding or trying to push this away, all right? Because they weren't really healed from... Um, their past basically it's like that again when you're feeling depleted when you're feeling drained um, because of your journey and all of the turmoil that has been involved in it again you're gonna block it you're gonna push it away right I don't, I don't want that right but the intuition card comes out and I got the confession card here so it's like an inner knowing okay that your person has it's an inner knowing is how I'm hearing it or it's like you guys are speaking to each other through telepathy Okay, and so this is, it's like you guys are, are, are um, sharing these messages. It's like your soul is communicating with each other. I don't know. It's like so much stuff coming to my mind right now. And um, they're going to come clean. Okay, so be expecting some type of message here from your person. Is there anything else? Family. They've been very resistant. You know, the breaking point card comes out. Tell me about the breaking point. Yep. This masculine energy, this person is now at this point where they're going after their vision. They are actually taking action. They hit their breaking point. They're ready. Peace.